Walleye there downtown taking on the Wheelie Nailers. We go to the second period. Game scoreless. Puck rebounded out to Kevin Spinozzi. He gets it to go. Scoring against his former team. That has to feel good. Fish with the lead. Third period, they had some luck. Puck thrown at the net. Goes off a nailer stick and finds its way in. Sometimes it's better to get lucky in, in this sports thing. Fish up 2-0. Later, check this out. Wheeling bringing it up the ice. Both players running into Billy Christopoulos. Wheeling's Christopher Brown with the cleanup and score. Dan Watson not happy about it, but it counted. Yikes. Yeah, that, that got a little messy down there. Down the stretch, though, Christopoulos able to keep the nailers out of the net. And Toledo goes on to get the win, 2-1. to one. Claire Dow is standing by with head coach Dan Watson. Quite a finish to that game. Penalty to kill coming up strong. All contest, killed four of them. Billy Christopoulos kind of playing out of his mind in net. What was it like for you? Well, it was a frustrating win, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, a lot of calls going against us for no reason. Standards are certainly different than what they should have been, but with that said, our penalty kill, they stepped up big. They stepped up huge, especially the five on three. Uh, the last penalty kill, the six on four, our guys, you know, they bought in, they blocked some big shots, they cleared pucks when needed, and, and like you said, Billy was, he played outstanding here tonight. What did you tell the guys after that controversial wheeling goal? Well, just stay with it. You know, obviously, uh, we'll go back and look at the video. They didn't show the replay right away. We think we know what happened for sure. I know they went and checked it just to make sure the puck went over the line. I get it went over the line, but there's a lot of stuff before that. Uh, just we had to stick with it. We knew that we were playing well. We knew that we were, had control of the game. We just didn't want to let that slip away. So uh, it was a good mental challenge for our group, to be honest with you. 